Hi guys, I hope you enjoy my new Bizart Fall makeup tutorial and that you're enjoying fall in your area. I started by priming my eyes with my Painterly Paint Pot. Please use whatever you choose to prime your eyes, but just do prime them. I'm then going to use my Costa Rica Eye Coal by MAC Cosmetics. I am giving myself a crease to make it a little stronger, but this is not going to be a strong cut crease look, guys. And I'm going to blend it out with a blender brush. This is an e.l.f. brush, which is only a dollar. But please use the one of your choice. All of my brushes are not going to be a dollar. Then I'm going to use the Color 04 Dark Mattes Palette by Visart. I love this palette. It's got this beautiful orange and a beautiful red tone that you'll see me use later. That I'm going to use to blend through the crease as well. And I'm using my 217 by MAC. But you, again, use the blender brush of your choice. This to me is a fan favorite and a personal favorite and it blends the best for me. Now I'm gonna take this Zap. This is by Urban Decay. These are like liquid pigments. They're from the Moon Dust collection. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with them. They swatch well, but that little tiny brush on the end makes it difficult to apply to the eye. So you'll see that I'm gonna take my flat shader brush. This is the 252 by MAC as well. Use, use what you like, guys, always. And had to really break that down a little bit, so I'm not sure about those just yet. Then I'm gonna use the color 05 Sultry Muse palette by Visart. And there's a beautiful gold color in here that I'm also gonna use a little bit later, but I'm just going to pat that on the eye as well. I wanna keep the crease just slightly sharp. I'm going back to the Dark Mattes palette and I'm gonna add the red shade and just blend that through just slightly. I wanna keep the orange there. And of course it blends well with the brown liner, but it's going to blend this out just in perfect timing for like a harvest look. And of course you just wanna to continue to blend it out and soften it up as much as possible. I'm then gonna take that gold shade again and just lightly dust that underneath the brow. Not a lot guys from the Sultry Muse palette. I'm gonna take my Ultra HD Foundation by Makeup Forever. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. Now I love this brush, but I will say that her quality of brushes has changed over the years. These black handle brushes are slightly higher in cost and they don't seem to last as long. Now I'm gonna use my Studio Conceal and Correct palette. This is my medium palette by MAC. Now use what works for you guys as far as color goes. Now this is an NC35 for me, which you can buy separately. There are some correcting colors that you cannot buy individually anymore. And I'm using my Natural Beauty Blender to just soften that out. But please use what works best for you. Now I'm taking a darker shade within the same palette and I'm gonna go back to my micro contouring technique. Guys, please look at the cards in the poll questions below in the, or above really in the video. If you haven't seen it, I will put a link above so that you can go back and watch and why I'm doing this so thinly and finely just underneath the cheekbone and around the perimeter of the face and why I'm using a small brush. I explained that in that video and I'd really love to get you guys take on this technique and see some of you start to use it. I'm going to go ahead and shave my nose just slightly with that concealer as well. And you see I'm using one of the same brushes all the way through. I'm a minimalist when it comes to brushes, although I have thousands, well not thousands, but close. I'm a minimalist when it comes to using a lot of brushes, so I'm using the same ones over and over again in this video. And then I'm taking another one of my blender brushes from MAC as well. These are a little bit wider. Uh, that's why I kind of like it. I don't use it all the time just because my eyes are a little bit smaller, but I can use it on clients pretty well. And because of what I'm doing here, I can drag that out. But again, this goes back to using the same brushes that you've got on hand so you don't find yourself reaching for 75 different brushes for one look. Then I'm going to use my Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I talk about this all the time. There's two of these. This is Caramel Toffee. This is probably my second or third one of these guys. I have hit pan on this one like nobody's business. The way that this is milled, this powder is milled so finely, is so nice. Now the pan is thinner, but it's also wider. So it's worth the money to me, but wet and wild's fragile, so be careful, but it's only $4.99. Now I'm gonna use my Contouring and Highlight Palette by Visart. There are several other blush palettes that go along with this collection. I believe there's six. I am singing. I am singing Praise and Worship. Yes, if you don't have Seth and Nerva, please get that album, it's amazing. Anyway, 
And then I'm just gonna go sweep through the face like I normally do. There's a nice highlighting color in there that I just lightly swept across the highest part of my face to give myself some shape. And I actually used the blush color in there as well. I am finishing with my MAC Mineralize powder. Mine is a medium golden. And I love that one since I'm using such a um, matte foundation, if you will. Now this is the Wet n Wild liner. This is the Mega Liner, guys, and it is amazing. This is like a buck fifty or two dollars. I have had it for a while, and I have a lot of liners, guys. So I just can't feature everything as much as I'd like to. I kind of pick up things as I grab and go. But you will see some good highs and lows here, considering the price of Visart palettes. I'm glad that there's some lower priced products here. I don't want to say low end, but these liners are amazing. That liquid liner is everything, honey. It doesn't bleed or anything. And yes, I'm using my number 46 lashes, which I probably used in my last three videos or at least worn and in several of my pictures. I got these from the makeup show. They're about $1.20. I have had trouble finding them on their website and I only got two pairs of them, so I'm writing these till the wheels fall off. You got to take care of your lashes and you can wear them as much as you want. Now here we go back to that high-end pricing again. This is Daisy Plum by Dior. This lipstick is amazing, guys, and look out for my next video on some Dior lipsticks that I picked up. They are highly expensive. They are about $34 a piece, so they are not what I pick up very often, I will not lie. But the impact of the color of this particular red was just amazing. The glitter particles in it isn't chalky or PC feeling, so it's really smooth and they give just this beautiful undertone. And I paired that with my Makeup Forever Precision Liner. It's a lip liner. That's the one of their few pencil liners that they still carry, and that's an N14. It's just a gorgeous color, and it just lasted for so many hours that day. I topped this with Pleasure Planet Lip Blast. That was from the MAC Cosmetics Star Trek collection. And guys, I honestly, I'm so over collections, I can't see straight. I've got Selena, I've got a lot of them. Some I didn't get that I really wanted, like Taraji, but I'm just over launches this year, to be honest. I'm glad the holidays are coming, so. Now we're getting to my favorite mascara, or one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Urban Decay Perversion. I've talked about it, I've used it several times. I have a lot of mascaras that I love, guys, but that is just a favorite. <laughs> So, I hope you like the look. It's so super simple. Follow me on IG and Twitter at Miss All Made Up, and thank you so much for watching. Please comment and share with all your friends, and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. Bye.